Our faith compels us to love the poor because the church has always known that each person has immeasurable value. We don't bring Jesus to the downtown east side. We find him there each day and serve him there. The biggest leave behind to this neighborhood or to poverty and to the people that are here is that it's we. We are all in this. We know these people. The individual level of the Doors Open is fascinating and it's a really cool place where we kind of rediscover uh, the we instead of the us and them. Sometimes people just need to be talked to. They have somebody out there that they feel cares about them. You know, I will go up and down Hastings and I'll hug and shake hands with 50 people in a five block radius because, hello, good to see you. Hey, good to see you again. You know, and it's just, just the recognition and somebody saying something positive to them is part of step by step getting people back to feeling like they're worth something. People go to God when they have trouble or when they're angry or when they're frustrated. But here I feel that I'm going to God because of, I'm happy and uh, the joy that they're bringing me by watching them and being part of them. And that's, that's the best part of it all, that uh, that's what Catholic Charities and the Sisters have done for me. And, and that's what I try to pass to other people now, that uh, you know, bring them closer to God. They feel themselves they're, they're not wanted in the society because of their sickness, with their different kind of drugs or alcohol or whatever. So they feel they're separated. But when, I, when they see that we don't make them that different, so they feel open to us. I do see Jesus in them, hidden in their brokenness, in the suffering, so they, they share with us. And when we come home in the evening and we, we, we bring them in the presence of God, and we tell them, we tell Jesus about their pain and suffering to bless them and to heal them. We see people who get better, people who have hope, people who's going to do something, people who are leaving this. It's like a celebration. This is where we did our job. It's good. It's good. Patient, love, not judgment, to be there for them like Christ did for us, you know? Uh, people will say, I thought I was coming down here to serve, but I was actually served, and I actually learned something, and I actually changed. I didn't change somebody else, they changed me. When I first came down here, um, I learned that people, nobody knew their names. So they'd come in, they'd get their food, but nobody said their name. And as soon as we started calling them by name, they, they just perked up. And one of them said to me, she says, nobody calls us by name. People don't look us in the eye. People don't know our names. We're just kind of ignored. loved the faces of the people here. Like their faces are so, they're, they're so tough looking and so hard looking. But I thought there was such character in their faces. So I had my friend come down and start taking pictures. And um, yeah, it just brought the girls to life. I think it was important for them to know that someone thought that they were beautiful. to say that this person is different because of this reason, this reason, this reason, this reason, and to build a barrier. And I think part of that is out of being scared because you can see how similar they are. If you show goodness to this people, they will be reminded that there's someone out there whom they do not believe 
one of our patrons also shared to me that, uh, Sister, every time you pass by, as if I am drawn to someone I don't believe to. The mission or the ministry is not only for few of us or for us that work or volunteer. Every one of us is invited to take part in it, whether you will be uh, physically one with us or you will be behind the door supporting us. It should be the bigger community. It's pretty wonderful that the doors open literally swings both ways. It's open to not only being a traditional uh, Catholic soup kitchen kind of ministry where we f literally feed people, but where people are educated about what it means to be a person. Thank you.